March 29th, what was that experience like for you, getting pulled over by a cop? I'm sure it would be terrifying for anyone who's getting pulled over. But as you said in the meeting, when the cop tapped on the back of your car, what was the initial feeling? Um, at first, I felt that it was something, just small little thing. Nothing was going to happen. Um, however, I was very terrified when I was actually um, being arrested, um, getting handcuffed. Um, I think that was one of the most horrifying moments in my life because I could not believe that I was being arrested by the campus police. Have you been getting support from your community ever since? From my community, yes. And that's very important to me because um, they're kind of the energizers that um, help me to say, you know what, um, it doesn't matter what happened. I have to to move on. That and, and and also my family. I mean, they've been my number one supporters, as always. And I really appreciate my um, family for doing that, and of course my community. And your family during the case. How how did they take it? Their initial reaction. I mean, they couldn't believe it. Um, although um, I had done some research. Um, on Cobb County and how immigration um, policies were being used there. I never thought I was going to be caught up in this um, system of theirs, especially because um, eight, uh, program to uh, excuse me, 287G, which is the law under um, or the law that allows uh, local authorities to act as immigration officials. Um, the purpose of that, of the program, is to deport um, hardcore criminals and not people without a criminal record or people who are trying to contribute back to this country that we've called home for so many years. I'm sure that would be heartbreaking to be put in the same pool as hardcore criminals, that, that's really tough. And you know you're not a criminal. Exactly. You're not at all. That's what keeps me moving too because although um, a lot of people may label me as a criminal, um, I know that I'm not one. That my only criminal offense is to get a higher education. If you were to talk about your experience with the media uh, during your case, how do you think that would have affected the outcome? Do you think it would have helped it or hurt it? You know, I definitely believe that everything happens for a reason. As of right now, I guess I'm the face of all the immigration laws here in Georgia. With that being said, um, I think all the factors that caused the creation of HB 87 can be outruled because I don't fit any of those categories. Um, I strongly believe that I'm an American by heart, although I'm not being recognized as one um, officially just yet, but I do believe that um, there is a misconception about undocumented students because we have to keep in mind that undocumented students are fighting for um, a right of equal access to a higher education. And you graduated. Yes, I graduated from Kansas State University with a um, political science degree and a French minor. And do you see your graduation as a personal triumph against everything that's been going against you and your education? Oh, definitely. I mean, and it's a personal accomplishment, too. Um, even before all of this happened, um, as I said before, um, it was a dream to me to just be able to graduate from college. 
And right now you're telling your story to make sure that people understand the immigration policy and the importance of immigration reform. How do you think your story will help undocumented students that are going through your situation or have already gone through it? You know, it's very easy to lose hope. Um, and my case has actually been an example not only for undocumented students but for people in general to understand that you can overcome any obstacle and sometimes that's what life is all about obstacles and more obstacles but you just have to learn how to overcome them and as far as undocumented students um, I get very emotional when I talk about them because I'm, well, I'm not a student anymore, but, but, you understand. but I understand what it is to be one. So what do you expect to do at your new job at the immigration law firm? Uh, well, I'm definitely learning a lot from there. Um, I'm very thankful that I'm working for great immigration attorneys and they're not only teaching me about the immigration system and how it works but I'm also getting to know on a personal level and I know that they are that they are great mentors so it, it's been very rewarding for me um, I could not have asked for more I think I'm in the perfect uh, place right now where I'm getting experience and learning about what, what I will be doing one day, and that's um, practice immigration law. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jessica, for speaking with me tonight. It's been great hearing your story. No problem. And thank you guys for watching. We'll check you next time here on The Wendell Show.